I got another world on. So now, so I'm saying like this, this our semis was always talking about the sort of a bitter. You could go, and I really think you could go through the whole Torah with this. And you could go through the whole life with this. Like you learn Marshall, for example. You start, you start, uh, you're learning a yeshiva. Let's talk about our world, the yeshiva world. And somebody learns and learns, and he tries and this and that and ups and downs, and he sees the other one is making out better than him. And I'm not going to, I could talk a lot about this. I could talk about it for at least for an hour and go into detail and tell stories, but okay, we'll, we'll say it in short. He sees the other one is better than him. If you know that the Tachlis is to be bottled to Ratz and Hashem, you think to yourself, Baruch Hashem, I can get up in the morning and say Baruch Ato. I could, I could read a few lines of Gemara. I'm, I'm standing and being mishamish to, to the Misha Omar Vayolam. It's, it's always Magala Bepumi, the Toshis in, 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 in Yuma Daf, uh, what is it? Yudam Ubeid, maybe? Is it Alpha Ubeid? The Toshis brings the Tosefta that he, that was once the Kangola became Tome, so somebody else was mishamish Tachtov on Yom Kippur. And after Yom Kippur, he said to the Melech, uh, he hinted to the Melech that he wants to continue being the Kohen Golo. The Melech said to him, Lo dayecho she shimashto shua achas lifnei misha omar vaya olam. A shua achas, you're mishamish in front of the one that was omar vaya olam. So you want kunak dola also? The Gibshan is that if you think what it is to stand and be mishamish in front of Hashem, it's like, what more could you ask for? What do you need more for that? Same thing as over here. You sit and you learn Torah in our base menu. It says, Yikarahim mi Peninim. The Torah is more yokar than Peninim, than the Kringola that's Nichnas Lifnai Velifnei. So you sit and you read a few lines of Gilmore. So, so you, you could ask for more? That's my mish standing in the Kurdish Kadosh and being Mishamish in front of Hashem. Oh, you saw the beetle to rust. And there's a lot, a lot. Now, I want to say like this. I'm sure Mary showed me a very interesting metzia that uh, the Rav Kook said pshat in a certain Gemara. The interesting lotion of the Gemara is that you don't pay attention so much. Like it's one of the things you, you just gloss over because... The Gemara says Rav Chista and Rav Amnuna were sitting in a suit. Let's see the cover of the book. And this, the name of the Sefer is Olas Re'ia. This is the Siddur of Rav Kook. And he says over here, he says over here, he brings the Gemara that it's talking about which, which one of the Shiva Saminim come first. So the Gemara says, Rav Ravuna, Ravuna made a bracha he had in front of him, Tomorrow and Rimonim. Ravuna took and he made on the Tmarim first. Rav Christ asked him, but Rimonim is what in Posse comes before Tmarim. So Ravuna said, no, in the Seder of the Shiva Saminim, that comes first. But in the in the Smichus to Oretz, how does it say? Eretz, Chito, Sarah, Vegefen, Utaino, Verima. So it's Chamishi to the word Oretz. Then it says again, Eretz is a Shemen of Dvash. And what's Dvash? Tomorrow. So it's Shani, Lord. It's Shani to the word Oretz. <coughs> Ooh. Rechista was so impressed. You know, they, they knew how to do it. Impressed. Because how they heard how much of it. And what, like, what would we would say to tomorrow first, we money first. Okay, we'll do this way. We'll do that way. Wow. He said it's the smichus to the word Oretz. That, that can make a mile for tomorrow. That's, that's what goes with the first part of the drasha tonight. Yeah. That everything is important. Oh. So <laughs> that's why. So if Christa was so impressed, he says, how if I, we should have iron legs and we should be able to walk after you to, to go to Merchakim, to walk after you, to stay, to stay uh, with you. Now, what kind of lush is that? Nagri de Parzla Iron Legs. Says Rav Cook says that we have to strengthen the goof. Part of it's also in our Hashem to strengthen the goof. 
I think he wrote this book much before the big scandal started. Uh, uh, oh, Rhodes, we are wrong. wrong. This is much, much earlier than that. <laughs> so he says, we have to be mechazek ourselves in that. And Sharon also wants to be, I'm not so sure, what does it have to do with Shiva Samir? And that? I don't know, I don't see it, I'm not so sure he explains it or not, but, but, uh, I, 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 th- I think what he says is like this, that, that we're talking about Chibas Oret, that, that something is Sambuch Oret, Oret is the ground, the Gashmius, so that's what we're talking about. Chibas Oretz is the Gashmias of the land. And we, we look, we, we need that part also, the Gashmias. We have to strengthen our Gashmias. We have to have strong legs. We should be able to walk far, far. So he says, and then he goes on to say, we need this. We need this, he says. We need strength. In the Torah way, Says Rav Kook, we have to be mechazgas ourselves. Not in the in the secular way. He doesn't use the word secular, but he says we have to be zoche to strength. B'darka shel Torah, be'avo b'shalom. That what shall alalos b'chama v'lalimrod b'umo. That's what Rav Chista would say. We have to be strong. But we can't be strong. Damn, strong, strong. We're powerful. No. You're not allowed to go Ola Bahama. There's three O's. And about. that's the Gemara and the end of Shuris, which is the Aleph base of Yeshua Mer. Kasuvas, I think. Kasuvas and end of Kasuvas. Hashem made three oaks, three Shuris <laughs> to the Yidden when they went into the Golos. But you can understand that in different ways. And one of them is Shelo Yalu Bechama, which that never happened. That means you should be, you shouldn't be Ola Bechama. You're not allowed to come to our show with, with like a big group, like 100,000 people at once to show we're going to conquer the land, we're going to make a Medina, we're going to have our thing. Not allowed to do that. Even if you build a, a, a fence, it's already a Chal It's hard to believe. This, this is the one that I think I under, we understand better. You're not allowed to be Marit Baumos. That means like La Marshal. The British were Shalit over here. Let them be Shalit. Let them rule. You're not allowed to go make a Machter. How do you say that? Uh, underground. An underground and fight and terrorize and bomb the King David Hotel like they did. And that's called Merida Be'umos. And you're not allowed to do that. That means I understand that with this Yisod that we were talking just now. Hashem sent you in Golos. Be nichna, be bottle, be bottle, be mevatel yourself to Rosh Hashem. We're here in Golos not to build a Medina, not to build that we have something. We're here just, we're now in the time when all that we have is Avodis Hashem, and Chutzim, that we don't have anything. And it could be, you could say, because that was the whole, the whole Chorban was from Sinas Chinam, which it came in that time, there were parties in, in, the, in the time of the Chorban, there were different groups. They were Beryonim, they called them in the Gemara, and then there was something called, maybe maybe there was something called Sikrik, and I don't know, if you read the books, of Yosef ben Matisio, the history books. So you see, you see, there was they were mamas fighting with one another. The, and the whole story of Kamsa and Bar Kamsa comes from that, I think. Don't they say that? That what was it? Who was it? The Kamsa that was making the party. He was with the Chazal, and Bar Kamsa was from one of the other groups, the Biryonim, maybe. And he, that he said, get out. But he didn't. He didn't. Wasn't purely same shemaim to get out. Uh, yeah, the group there, uh, Moshe Segel, is what I told them. He carted out the right to buy Shulchan Shalom. Right. He is one of his groups is called the Brisa Biryonim. Uh, the Shver of Rav Yitzchak That Ginsburg. was before forty eight. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember him also. The Shver of Rav Yitzchak Ginsburg. Shver had a long way to do. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. So. Uh, 
But I'm saying, I'm saying like this, Hashem was mashbiyot. You, and this is my pshat, you went into Golish now. Each one of you, there were groups by you that thought, we're going to have our country, we're not going to let the Romans in. We're not going to let, what do you mean you're not going to let the Romans in? If you don't go into Derech HaTorah, you don't have any power. You can't fight the Romans. You should know. Know the Metzias. Know the truth. No. They didn't listen to the Chazal. What do you mean not to be Mitzvah of the Umas? Doesn't it mean not to go fight with them? Not, not to go fight with the Umas. Not the ten Mitzvah. No, we're not talking about the ten. I'm talking about what was before 48. Uh, nowadays, nowadays... No, I don't hear no, so, so once the Ram, so Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai said that go out and make peace, peace now, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai said. And the Biryanim didn't listen to him, no, we're going to fight to the end. Why, but he was defending himself. But if you'll be Nichna to Ramaz, you'll also be, you'll survive. You'll stay. With the base of Mikdash. You'll stay, so you'll say to the Ram, you'll be my vajra and your umiyut on your nationality, uh, and you'll say, okay, look, the Romans are stronger. We weren't zochet to the gvura of Yidin. And the reason is because you didn't go with the way of the Torah. But once you didn't go in the way of the Torah, so realize that the Hashem gave power to the Romans and that be nichna to them and everything will be all right. No, no, we have our thing. So Hashem was mashbiyanem, you're going into Golus. So you should know, you have to stop with all this. You're going in Golis, you have no Medina, no Memshola, and no independence. Now it's going to be 2,000 years or less, a little bit, of all, all you have is Torah, Ein Lanu Shir Rak Torah said Rabbeinu Gershom, said it in the Piyot of the Slichas that we say, uh, um, so we say it in the Ila, and we also say it, I think, on Erev Rosh Hashanah. Uh, how does it say? Galinu me'atz tevah b'chid chozen, orcha yom emedvar kol chozen b'nishmanen eshulach rozen, v'hoshish v'orna kodesh v'riz, hoyu l'cher b'lo v'izas, v'chol machmadeh t'vua shudgnus, all the machmadim that we had in the time of the Beis HaMikdash, we don't have anything left. That's going to be the goal. From now on, Hashem said, no base of Mikdash, no, no, no nationality, no government. And then you're going to go to the cross and you'll say to Mashiach, yeah. We did our shlichus in the Golos, and, and, and we're happy to have you. But until then, nothing. And that's Marida Bumasolim, and that's what Rav Kook says over here. The, the Rav Chista was so impressed that that he said that you're, you're, you're talking about the Mila of Shani Lord, the Mila of the Oretz, of being close to the Oretz. We have to know how to be close to the Oretz with the Derech HaTorah, and now with the Goisha Derech of of Kochi Vachim Yodi. And, uh, and this Rav Cook said this. Now. We have one minute. And, and, and now we, we so, so there were, there were, there were those that, before 48, they were over on the Shalashvus, and their Misgara Bumas, which was unnecessary, because we don't need a Medina, we don't need a gum, we don't need anything. And, uh, Against and, the and son of Rav Cook, he thought it would all be peaceful. They yeah. all agreed. They and see how yeah, wonderful they are. <laughs> but you see that he didn't go go with Rabbi Yosef Chaim to meet the King of Abdallah. He didn't go that far. Rabbi Yosef Chaim actually went there to meet the him. The people that paid his salary wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, okay, Abdallah. What do you mean? He was the Shem What do you think they said? Anyway, so so we should be zeichel, but 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 soon it's all. All this is the best. Really, it's not going to get anywhere. Okay, we have like two seconds. We're in my the front of Mashiach. We'll be Mikabo and Benoli. Amen. Oh, <laughs> let's get this. Let's get this.